The smart narrative visualization helps you quickly summarize visuals and reports by providing relevant out-of-the-box insights which are customizable. Let's look at this page where we have information about the transactions of my online sales data. All I have to do is right-click this scatter chart and select Summarize to get an automatic summary of that visualization. Power BI analyzes the data and shows which city and region has the highest revenue per transaction and the highest number of transactions. It also shows the expected range of values for these metrics. For example, you can understand that most cities were below $45 in revenue per transaction and had less than 10 transactions. You can also add new text or edit the existing text using the same controls available in the regular text box. For example, I can make the text bold or change the color and so on. Next, let me jump to the products page to show you another way of triggering these summaries. If I want to create a narrative based on all the visuals on the page, I just need to click on the new smart narrative icon in the visualization pane. This automatically generates a summary of my visuals talking about revenue, website visits, and sales. Notice that Power BI automatically does trend analysis to show that revenue and visits have both grown and it even calculates what kind of growth it sees. In this example, 72% increase. Next, I'm going to show you how to edit these summaries. You can customize the summary and add your own insights by adding dynamic values. For example, if you want to add information about the number of return items, I can say return items amounted to and click on this add value button here and say count of returns. Now, as I type, I get suggestions in the dropdown just as in a Q&A visual. Now, all I have to do is hit save. You can also format these dynamic values. For example, I can click on this edit button corresponding to this value to format the value, perhaps uh, change it to a currency or specify the decimal places if I wanted to, and even add a thousand separator. Once I hit save, you can notice that the value gets updated. The next thing I want to talk about is visual interactions. For example, if you select electronics in the donut chart, the rest of the report is going to cross filter and the summary will also cross filter to focus on the electronic products too. In this case, the visits and revenues have different trends. So the text gets updated to reflect that. And the count of written items you added gets updated to 4196. So the summary is dynamic and it automatically updates the generated text and the dynamic values when you cross filter. You can also do more advanced filtering. For example, if I jump to this page right here in this visual that talks about sales across time in different products, and let's say I'm interested in a trend across a certain quarter, you can select the relevant data points to get the summary updated for that fragment. Please check the documentation page to learn more about the feature and its limitations.